Ladies and gentlemen, introducing today's topic, to you, the, the Second Amendment to the United States Constitution, which is a part of the Bill of Rights, ratified in 1791. And, it reads, a well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, shall not be infringed. Okay, that's clear. But, wait, wait is more. This amendment is one of the most debated and controversial parts of the Constitution, with its interpretation and implications being a source of ongoing discussion and legal battles, apparently, so, here are some key points to consider, the core right, the Second Amendment protects the right of the people to keep and bear arms. However, there is ongoing debate about who exactly constitutes the people and the limitations on this right. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, you heard right, the ongoing discussion and legal battle, is, who exactly constitutes the people, yes, I'm not sure about you, but what is the big debate about, what constitutes the people, what about, every person, over 18, if they can join, the army, they are good to constitute as, people. Am I right? Every, healthy, adult person living in the state, should be considered the people. If they go to work and keep a job, they are responsible and productive, daily, if they allow, to be gypped, by taxes and fees, somehow, they are not good, to be considered the people. The Militia Clause, the first part of the amendment mentions a well-regulated militia as being necessary for a free state. Is this somehow, not clear, in plain English? But somehow this connection between the militia and the right to bear arms is another point of contention, with some arguing it clarifies the purpose of the amendment, while others see it as a justification for an individual right to bear arms independent of militia service. Interpretation, the Supreme Court has issued landmark rulings, on the Second Amendment, such as the District of Columbia v. Heller, 2008, which established an individual right to keep firearms, for self-defense in the home. However, the court has also upheld certain gun control measures, and the full scope of the Second Amendment's protections remains a complex legal issue, well, they like to, muddy more the water, for more confusion, no. And in this confusion, too many times, better said all the times, the psychopaths, can do, whatever they want, as we see, sadly daily, and that's why, we are today, where we are, seeing our, freedom, prosperity and pursuit of happiness, fading fast. Officials will tell, it's important to remember that this is a brief overview of a complex topic. If you'd like to delve deeper, you can explore various resources, keeping in mind that the Second Amendment, is a subject with diverse perspectives and ongoing debate, and I am, adding, here, versus, just keeping it simple. Who wrote this in 1791 were, good observers of what is going on in life, society, politics and business, and yes they were people of this planet and this reality. Always remember, there is nothing new under the sun, freedoms get trampled, people were abused from the beginning of history, and yes history repeats itself, always were, psychopaths who become tyrants, always were rules overthrown, always were masses of people bamboozled by a few, and those few write the new laws, rules and regulations, in 1791 was a hope, this will end in the new country. Where people came escaping, tyranny, kings, despots, which ruled the whole Europe, those people said, no more, elitism, nepotism, corruption, and human exploitation. I will leave you with that. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you, and God bless you.